Okay, Kelly, so congratulations on the captaincy. Um, it's been quite a year. Um, how, how do you think it's, you're going to feel on Sunday arriving here at the stadium? Yeah, every time we pull up at the stadium, it's really hairs on the back of your neck, stand up, and then the pipes start, and all the fans are shouting at the bus and such like. So it's always a, a really, really memorable experience. And can you imagine at all how it's going to be like leading the team out on your 50th cap to a full house at Mayfield? I think the main thing for me is about finding a balance. I need to find that balance between using the emotion and making sure that I'm focused on my role because it's the sort of, sort of occasion that if I let it, it really, really could become very emotional. And thinking back to, to people who have led you onto the field, as, have you got any sort of particularly strong memories? Yeah, I think if you look at the squad now, there's several guys in there that have captained Scotland in the past and all did a really good job. Another guy that I liked as captain was Jason White. So I'm, I'm very fortunate in that I've been led by... A, a lot of really good men and I'm just hopeful that I can do the best job that I possibly can. And as captain, you've got quite a, a few younger players in the squad. Um, are you aware of sort of being a role model for them as well? Over the course of the week, I've been making sure that I speak with all of the players individually and just making sure that they know exactly what's expected of them because quite a large Part of captaincy is is man management and just making sure that I know what is the best way to get the best out of each of the players. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Cannot wait.